Tomorrow is municipal election day in Utah. Deadlines drawing near a new style of voting in play as well. According to the state, more than 1.6 million Utahns are eligible to vote in this year's municipal general election. And tonight, candidates still working hard for your vote. ABC4's Jason Wynn live outside the Salt Lake County Government Center tonight, where a lot of tight races will be decided. Jason, any idea how many people have voted so far? Well, Glenn, Salt Lake County Clerk Sherry Swenson tells me she believes that roughly or a little bit more than 20% of people in the county have already voted. She expects tomorrow to go rather smoothly with little to no lines. Vote by mail ballots are coming into Salt Lake County election sites at a steady pace. It gets out more votes. I think that's important, it's, it's, you know, regardless of where you sit on the political aisles, you know, it's good, it's good to have more votes. Salt Lake City's Alan Cunningham supports vote by mail and believes it's a secure way to cast a ballot, especially because he's in one of nine cities that has ranked choice voting. It gives me more options. I'm about options. And that means that instead of someone voting for one candidate, they could rank the choices of their candidates, one through however many candidates are on the ballot. County Clerk Sherry Swenson says the Board of Canvassers will count and certify all ballots on November 16th. We know that the mail-in system is, is secure. It is absolutely legitimate. We have done this for many years. Eligible voters can go to any of the 22 vote centers to drop off their ballot or vote in person from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. To vote in person, you'll need a valid ID like a current concealed carry permit, driver's license, passport or tribal identification card. And officials are asking those who are not vaccinated to wear a mask while voting in person Tuesday. It makes it convenient if you live in Harriman and you work in Salt Lake City, you could go to a vote center regardless of where you live. Because of issues with self-proclaimed poll watchers and protesters, Swenson says unified police officers are now in charge of recovering county ballots and transporting them to be counted. And if you haven't mailed out your ballot yet, Swenson says don't do that. Actually take it to one of the 22 locations before 8 o'clock tomorrow to drop off your mail-in ballot. She says that way you're ensuring that it gets counted. Live in Salt Lake City, I'm Jason Wynn, ABC4 News. Thank you, Jason.